for those of us who don't want the Republican Party to obtain any more power in 2024 uh, is the idea that there is a perception amongst the Republicans that Donald Trump is um, has been weakened in some way by the 2022 elections, which means that there's a lot of very ambitious uh, morons who are excited about maybe becoming president. And, and here is Mike Pence raising his hand saying, I am in fact one of those very ambitious morons. And you recall Mike Pence was the last time we really heard about him was that uh, there was a lot of people who wanted to put him on the end, uh, the bad end of a noose uh, because he wouldn't give the election to Donald Trump. He seemed to be a little bit upset about that at the time. But, you know, after a while, time heals all wounds. <laughs> right. And uh, here is uh, Mike Pence um, doing his best George W. Bush knockoff. Do you think the president committed a criminal act in uh, fomenting the insurrection? Do you, think he, do you think a crime was committed? Well, I, I don't know if it is criminal to listen to bad advice from lawyers. The truth is what what the president uh, was it, folks. So for those of you, we should just you should just know this. Now, Mike Pence is not a judge. He is not a prosecutor. He's not a police officer. So, uh, you know, take this with a bit of a grain of salt. But if you are contemplating committing a crime, make sure you find a lawyer who looks at you and says, eh, yeah, I'd do it. Uh, because apparently that's a uh, apparently Mike Pence does not know if that's criminal act. If you commit a criminal act because you're listening on the advice of of lawyers. Um, well, a lawyer can uh, lead a horse to a crime, but only the horse can uh, can choose to commit the crime is my counter to his his argument. Here. Yes. Well, Mike Pence would say, like, he's a horse. And so he has no free will. <laughs> so, uh, well, I mean, he's... a little bit more applicable than we thought in this. Checkmate instance. Mike Pence. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Here is uh, Mike Pence. Let's let him continue. Sorry. If it is criminal to listen to bad advice from lawyers. Truth is, what what the president uh, was Spoiler repeating alert, what he was is. hearing uh, <laughs> from that gaggle of attorneys around him, and um, uh, you know, presidents uh, just as like all of us that assert in public life, you have to rely on your team, you have to rely on the credibility of the people around you, and so uh, like your vice uh, president, <laughs> yeah. and you as, determine uh, the people. As time goes on, um, I hope. Uh, I hope we can move beyond this, beyond um, that prospect. And this is really a time when our country ought to be healing. And, um, and frankly, the Justice Department's actions have been exposed from during our administration, where FBI agents were advancing political agendas. Uh, pause it for one second. Sorry, I just have to. I, I, he must be referring to the uh, Durham investigation, which has been going on now for four years and has had exactly zero indictments oh no excuse me zero convictions on the two really shoddy indictments the star the, the star uh, uh defendant was acquitted the star <laughs> yes the, the, was, yes. Not acquitted, was not convicted of any charges. well and to be fair it did take uh, the jury almost like uh, two and a half hours to deliberate on that i mean uh, almost almost two and a half hours um and uh, uh, Durham, for all I know, is just like sitting in an office, you know, uh, b banging his fists on the table going, what? What have I done with the last four years of my life? Uh, so they, in fact, did not find anything of the sorts. But uh, let's let Mike Pence continue to essentially woo the Trump voter again. Frankly, the Justice Department's actions have been exposed from during our administration, where FBI agents were advancing political agendas, uh, falsifying records, and using what came to be found out to be opposition research paid for by the Clinton campaign and the Democratic Party, the so-called dossier. Uh, I, and, and then this this past summer when we see that the justice department execute a search warrant against search the warrant. personal residence of a former personal president residence. of the united states i think the american people yeah. I, I think the american people join me in hoping we can move past this yeah. contention he, is he above the law i mean if he if he violated the law should he be held to the same standard that i hey, chuck to? chuck no one's no above one's the above law, law. <laughs> 
But I, I would hope the Justice Department would give careful consideration. In other words, I'm implying they, they didn't give additional steps. careful consideration. Uh, he's not above matter. the law. He's at the same point. He hey, hey, Chuck, nobody's above the law. Chuck, let me tell you something. Supposed Nobody, to be nobody's above the law. And I just uh, want to imply that the DOJ mm. went down to Mar-a-Lago and uh, just, uh, just on a whim decided they needed that stolen government documents back after... Oh, 18 months of begging the president, <laughs> former president, to give it back. He really and, has perfected the, I'm saying this very thoughtfully. I'm trying to, listen, mm. I'm trying to, mm. I'm trying to get across that, uh, mm. that I'm both homespun, but also thoughtful. Is that, is that clock with you? Chuck, Chuck Todd. Yeah. Man, I gotta say, man, wow, Chuck Todd really grilled the hell out of it. 75 uh, years of meet the press and glory yep, there. Yep, there you go. I mean... Yeah, we're supposed to be healing, which is which is to say, I'm supposed to be in office serving my second term, and we're not going to heal until I do that. Mike. Yeah, you know, Trump is the kind of guy that just uh, he he carefully sits down with his advisors and his lawyers, and then he makes a determination about how he's going to act from there. Yeah, that's what that's what's that's the the bullshit that uh, Pence is trying to sell us there. But. Millennial Industrial Complex says Sam Pence voice sounds a lot like W, and that is on purpose because that's what Pence is trying to go for. He sounds like you w. know, Chuck. Uh, it's Sunday, and so I really appreciate you uh, leaving me in that gaping hole at the front line as you uh, open up a running uh, running lane for me. Thanks for not trying to do any a tackle or even two-hand touch. As I, that was as I just <laughs> spread a bunch of bull. All right. Yeah, I know, folks. Everybody's telling me that my, my Pence sounds like uh, GW. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but, I mean, Pence, Pence, Pence wishes Pence he could be as own. fun as GW, yeah. right? Like, well, that's true. I've got to come up with some uh, some nicknames for people. Don't, uh, no, man. Can you imagine <laughs> Pence trying to write comedy? <laughs> <laughs> he has to check with Mother first. Yes. Mother says, uh, Mommy, that's what I call it. That's a nickname I have for her. I call him Humpty uh, Dumpty Trump. Hey, this video is sponsored by Established Titles. What is Established Titles? It is a fun novelty gift that also helps you uh, preserve some natural woodlands. It's a project based on historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and uh, ladies in English. Title packs give you at least one square foot of dedicated land with a unique plot number. So what happens is they plant a tree with every order, they work with global charities, one tree planted and trees for the future to support global reforestation efforts. And you get one of these certificates. I'm a lord. I'm also a lady, too. Uh, I can be both. There's no reason I can't be. The first 200 people purchasing a title pack using my link will effectively be next to our plot. If you want to become a lord and lady, we can create our own majority report kingdom. So check it out. You can also, on official documents where they use a, sub, a prefix, you can call yourself Lord or Lady. Uh, it makes an amazing last-minute gift. Established Titles is actually running a massive Black Friday sale right now. Plus, if you use the code MAJORITY, you get an additional 10% off. Go to EstablishedTitles.com slash majority to get your gifts now and help support the channel.